Well, it would seem that Susan did not did not appreciate my uh, talk about Covidius nineteen. So to, to think that she's watching me like that, that's crazy. And I also have to get better at not breathing into the mic. And I, need, I, need, I need to practice my uh my speaker talk. My speaker talk mic my, my uh mic talk. Okay, Susan, you win, bitch. <laughs> I'm actually flattered that, like, I, <laughs> I'm actually flattered by that, I'm not gonna lie. too good shit these legs are too good daddy yo these legs are too good Strength build. I'll look into the. Uh, yes. Why can't I reset my crucible? Like? Why can't those rookies in the crucible be more like you? Cause they're not like me, Shaka Zulu. Hmm. Why can't I reset my crystal? What the fuck? Oh, that's fucking weird. Uh, I don't even know what to talk about now. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just shocked that Susan would do that to me. <laughs> Now I guess now I feel now I know what um chill chiseled well, Adonis feels like. Bitch went and shot down my my stream just like that.
Mm. Trash. This is actually garbage. <laughs> this is this is actually garbage. <laughs> This is actually garbage. <laughs> Ooh, it's like, mm, trash. <laughs> this is actually garbage. <laughs> this is actually garbage. This is actually garbage. <laughs> this, is, this is actually garbage. Um, let me see, 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 I'll put in the messenger. I'll put in the messenger. Like, I, I had no clue Susan was watching me like that. That is crazy. Uh, nothing, nothing's up. I mean, I, we, I was, <laughs> I'm just still surprised that YouTube would. True, true. That, that, that's a fair point. Cause that is insane. I'm 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 actually shocked that she would strike me down. Strike me down. But seriously though, hmm, that is interesting. It's like I, I don't even have a thousand subscribers, and she hit she hit me. She 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 fucking nuked me off the face of the planet with this. But yeah, I, I have to get better speaking on a mic. Cause. Too often, like in, especially in the playback, I could hear moments of when, like, I was breathing through my mouth or my nose. So I need, I need to get better with that. Need to breathe more through my nose when I'm not speaking. Yeah, let me let me try out uh, the new solar class. I'll play a couple games, then turn it off for the night. It is only one a.m. Can I not reset my? Yeah, word. Yeah, where is what, what? Okay, Shax. Why will you not let me reset my Rat Crucible? Did you show the darkness what light can do? I'm not in the space. You know, that's a good point. That is actually a great point. Yeah, you may you, that is actually a great point you make, Pensive. Hmm. Hopefully, this is as sturdy as you. That is actually a great point. I should I should have suspected that then. This is as sturdy as you. Okay, did my ring reset? Okay, it did reset. Okay, cool. Yeah, I should have suspected that. That's actually a great point. That, that given the time that I'm on, and that you know, uh, ever since ever since Kevin Samuels, this this space has been 
I mean, ever since Kevin passed away, we've confirmed that, yes, these people are fucking watching us. You know, ever since he passed away, we've confirmed that these people are watching us. So, because so many, so many celebrities came out and everything. So, no, you're right. You're definitely right. That is, that's interesting, though. Now I can go back into that recent live and chop it up to make videos. Because that, that was a good two hours of this, you know, freeform talk right there. Definitely hit a lot of good topics on that video. I might be able to just go back, chop it into separate videos, clean the audio up. trying to get to that which are trying to get to that 1k mark so I can get monetized without using without talking about fucking gender role shit is hard Don't run. Yeah, because, like, all those celebrities came out saying, like, you know, ooh, got the two tap. That was Borgen up. What's up, D Scott? Sub D Scott, appreciate it, appreciate it. For some reason, whenever two taps, oh my god. Giving out extra credit, that's 103. Keep the extra points. Don't fight me. Oh, I was out of range. Oh no, uh, apparently I was talking too much about um, Covidius 19 and, and, and the Mandarin. So Susan wanted to silence me. Come on, bitch. Oh, the quality, did the quality drop? Well, why did anybody tell me it dropped?
I thought the quality dropped. Nope. Oh, who else we got? Ooh, that was close. Oh, thank God. Wait, can I get the two? Oh, no, I can't. Did you get an email about it? I'll check right now, actually. You gotta get that 5G. I know you're here somewhere. Hammer worked. <laughs> I got the hammer kill. You play Team Fortress 2? I've heard about, never played it. I've heard about it, never played it. I didn't kill. How did you not die from that? You know what? Fuck. Let me just pop super. Thank you. Yeah, is it isn't Team Fortress 2 a uh, a PC game or is it like on console? Cuz I just started getting into PC gaming like 2020. Yeah, like that's when I that's when I that's when I bought my uh, my gaming laptop that I use for all my edited videos and my and my and my uh is a Steam game okay? I thought so. Okay, yeah. That's probably why then, because I just I had just got into PC gaming, twenty I think August of twenty twenty. Just got into it, because the, the computer I use for all my edited videos, all the last couple of streams I've done through Streamyard, no no not Streamyard through uh, through OBS. Has been on my gaming. I thought about this recently bought. Two years old. It'll be three years come this August. It's been doing work, like, and while on top of, top of that, like, I upgraded the DDR4 in it, so I still have 32 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it can, ha it can handle most things pretty well. Like, I rarely use most of my RAM on any kind of operating system that I use. And then I recently just got a fan for it, so now I can keep the temperatures optimally cold and everything. Like, it's actually great. That was a good rumble match, man. I, I fucking love this gun so much. Oh shit! I've 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 crossed three thousand kills. Damn. This gun is so good. Rumble. Uh, so if you play if you play TF two, do you play like uh what was it called? Oh, it's not what's the, what's what's the uh, Half Life? I've I've wanted to play Halo. I wanted to, never have.
like I remember like the there was like you know Halo OTS, Halo Reach. The, from, from what I've heard, the Halo uh, the Halo the Halo franchise has gotten a little a little wonky. Why his name is Need Cloud? That is amazing. I missed, I missed too many shots. <sighs> oh shit, no, my concern. What, did you play Halo? Offensive? Uh, This is on console. If I were to get this on PC, I'd have to re-download all the DLC for this game on PC. And that's like... And that's like almost... That, that, that's well over a hundred bucks of DLC. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, this is not the map for a hand cannon, plus I am missing shots. Who's next? Who's next? Don't let your enemy take this without a fight. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying, Shax. I'm trying. He had a sword. Oh shit. He still has that goddamn halo, so it doesn't he? You've lost, but so have others. You can come back from this. What the fuck is that? Tunic. Hmm. Is, that, is that is that also a PC game? Is that, is that also on Steam? Tunic. I 
I really didn't use like any of these abilities. Um, apparently I have, but I don't know who the fuck he is. So, <laughs> like, then I like at, at our previous job, uh. I don't know if y'all have heard of. I don't know. Not, I may have heard of this. Y'all, y'all know. Uh, y'all know the uh, the show Wild and Out. So, at our previous job, I had uh, the guy named Hitman Holla. He came there on some textbook nigger shit, and like. He came in there with his entourage and shit, and these niggas were all color coordinating, <laughs> wearing red and shit. Like they all had like the Flint Red Thirteens, no one else will. and all that shit. So, yeah, it wasn't cool because he made, he made my, my my manager cry. Yeah, he, he made my manager cry and shit, which is hilarious. Yep. And, like, I could see why he cried, but, like, even still now, it's just like, damn, he really made you cry. Shit. Yeah, he, yep, he, he made my manager cry because what happened was that we, we were closing up and these niggas came in there saying, saying these are, of course I have. In fact, I didn't even need to take regular psychology because I got the uh, AP credit for it in high school. I've taken abnormal psychology. I've taken abnormal psychology and I've taken, um, I've taken abnormal psychology, social issues. And then recently, for one of my nursing courses, I took uh, diverging cultures and how and, and wealth and, and wealth care, diverging cultures and healthcare. Who's next? Two tap. Didn't stand a chance. Oh, shit, I missed. But the thing about, think about, the thing about, yeah, I mean, those are electives. Those are electives. Yeah, but th those were electives. But the thing about psychology is that because, yeah, like the the plan is that in order to pay for med school, I'll I'll become a nurse because med school is not cheap. So in, in order to pay for it, I'll become a nurse. Cause I don't, I don't feel like going into fucking debt trying to do this shit. I'm the shotgun shot. Oh my god, I missed the shot. No, I'm going, I already am. Like, I already have my degree. I already have my degree. 
I'm like, yeah, I already have a dramatic degree in biology. It's just that after that, like, it's either it's either I become like a, a PhD or I go into R and D. No, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a scientist. Um, I'm not studying anything. I'm not into. R I'm not in any. I'm not in any program for R and D. I'm not a scientist. I I just know. I just know more than your average person. But I'm not, I'm not a scientist. That whole pineapple show that that girl wants is retarded. Only five minutes left. Like the, the guy, the guys who go up there are stupid because the thing about it is that they they themselves know. Yeah, I could get grants for research if I propose a thesis. But but being a biologist doesn't even put you in the realm of just doing like like being being an associate degree undergrad biologist doesn't put you in that kind of area to do that type of shit. Oh shit. Nope. Nope, you're not getting me. <laughs> nope. Because he, he he's still a black guy, like the, the, that nuclear guy is still is still a black man, and he's still like most men. Oh my goodness! It's like he 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 he's still a black man. You know, be, being 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 scholarly, he's out of the way. That there's already research being done on that. They've been mining for that for the last like 20 years. No, th that physicist dude. Th the thing about it is that you know, being scholarly gifted does not mean that you are acute to social to social interactions. Like th th there, there is a, there is a, there is a social IQ, and then, then there is you know, and then there is your actual you know computational IQ. That nuclear physicist guy was wasting his time going on that show because the, the the type of woman that would be on that show is not him and that woman aren't compatible simple simple as that like even even the host isn't compatible with an actual intelligent man so You know, like even it's like, it's like I said it in my other in my, in my other video, is that you know, you have to know who you are to know what women you, you can already automatically write off. Like I said earlier, you know, like I'm into science, I'm into technology, I'm into gaming, I'm into all that stuff. That eliminates most women because most women because most people aren't into science. Most people find chemistry hard and boring. 
I don't find chemistry. I don't find chemistry boring. I find it interesting. So, what kind of what, what does it make sense for me, someone who has those kind of interests, to go on a show like that when none of the women on that show exhibit that level of intellect? Like, not even the host herself is that intelligent. She, she's just, she's just cute. She's just very attractive, but she's she's not that like she doesn't have that acuity towards that. She she doesn't have that acuity or leaning towards that type, that, that, that type of stuff. So it'd be it'd be a waste of my time as someone who's in that kind of area, who who has that kind of mindset, to even put myself in that situation with, with, with women who I know can't even comprehend the things I would find interesting, much less find it interesting themselves. You know what I mean? Like a, a lot of the issue that a lot of guys have is a lot of guys have dating is. Being honest with knowing that, hey, look, the shit I like and the shit she likes makes us incompatible off rip. Off rip. And the only way that that would change is if she really likes me to care about trying to understand what I'm talking about. Other than that, there's no point. He, he, he'd be better off finding a girl at a, at a, at a, at a science convention about physics. About, 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 about physics. Than going on that show, because at least at least the women there would be already mentally geared towards those kind of topics. Rumble. Like the the host of that show isn't intelligent like that. She's just cute, but she but if 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 you if you asked her to to give you the chemical compound of salt of salt, she would never tell you that shit. If if you tell if you if you asked her. But between a neutron and an electron, which one is negative? She wouldn't be able to answer that shit. Most most people wouldn't. Hell, if you if you asked her to give you twenty percent of fifty, she she she'd pause. M most people do not have that type of high. In I wouldn't even call it a high intelligence. Most people just aren't just aren't used to using their brains like that, so you, you already put yourself at a disadvantage. So like 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 like, like that's why my whole dating history, it's never been as bad as some other guys because I'm like I don't I, do, I I actively don't seek out women, who I know I share nothing in common with, and, and I definitely don't co-sign the idea. Of trying to make a girl who doesn't like you like you. Th that whole romance novel shit, I don't do that. That makes no sense to me because at the end of the day, while you're trying to make her like you, there's dudes that she's just liking off rip. I, I hope he's embarrassed by it too. I, I hope he's embarrassed by it and understands himself and goes and deals with women who are in his. Who are equally yoked mentally. No, yeah, like I, like I said, I, I I hope I hope he does because I mean, look look at the caliber of women that go on that show. None of the women that go on that show are anywhere near the level of accomplishments or just like, just the level of accomplishment or just mentality that that, 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 that guy was. In fact, even the girl he was talking, he was talking to, wasn't even close to his level on like intellect. And that's the reason why she bounced it because I mean, like, at the end of the day, women women get intimidated. Women get intimidated too by men. She she knew she knew she was in the wrong class of this guy, so she she decided to cut it off. He he would have kept going though. Where are you?
<clears throat> no, yeah, like, 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 if he, for him, for him to even go up there, he must have been operating off a very, a lot of false beliefs about, like, who he is and what women he can actually approach. Like, him going up there, right, is the equivalent of, let's say, Elon Musk trying to hit up Cardi B. That's what that shit was. You have someone as intellectually astute as, as, as Elon Musk trying to hit up someone like Cardi B and then thinking it would go anywhere serious, thinking it would even go anywhere at all. That's what he was doing. That's, that, that's, that's what that was. Like it's like you, you you you're you're a physicist. Apparently, you, you scored really high on the test, and now you're on now you're on the track to going going doing great things. Well, I mean, as we know, Amber Heard is a mass manipulator, so it's a little different. Like the, the women on that show don't hide who they are. And Amber Heard hid who Amber Heard hid who she was. Even to this day, she she still she, even to this day Amber Heard acts as if the world doesn't know who she is. You know, or or, or, or that that'd be like Bill Gates going up to you know a, a fucking um a, a Meg Thee Stallion. Uh, when I would, when I would be at my social issues class, I would, because a lot of those social scientists are like very feminist dominated. So, and, and I'd be like one of the few guys in those classes and the other guys that were there were either, they were either not straight or chicken shit. Don't be discouraged. But yeah. Like, like when I, when I, I, I think, I think the one time, no, the, 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 the times that I've been really cheated by a teacher all happened in middle school. Because I remember there was one time, uh, her, her name was Ashley DeGracia, which is like Filipino and, 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 typ and typical, and typical Asian female behavior she was engaged to a white guy, right? And so what happened was that one day she came into the classroom and said she was having a bad day. And I did like, ha. I literally said, ha. I just said she had a bad day. And then she, she essentially, upon me doing that, I got in trouble for laughing at her saying she had a bad day, which which looking back on it, you, that, you can't, like, you can't, Write me up. Like, you, you can't write a student up for laughing at anything else. Like, there's no rule against that shit. So, off rip, like, it was already bullshit. So, I laughed at her, said she had a bad day. And then upon, upon, upon that, they, uh, they, they removed me because I was in the accelerated class. They took me out of, they took, they took me out of the accelerated class. And put me in the ESOL class, the ESOL class. Mind you, mind you, I speak excellent English. So me being in the in the ESOL class was like, what the fuck? Like I speak excellent English. So I was like, what what, what the fuck is this? And I I, I was like, I, even back then I was you know, highly intelligent, you know, for my grade and everything like that. So. They put me, they put me in the Esau class.
No, I'm saying that like, you know, as far as challenging t- challenging a teacher goes, the two occasions I can remember where a teacher actively tried to fuck me over were all in middle school. And it was from my first teacher, my, my English teacher, her name was Ashley De Gracia. She was a Filipino woman, unironically married to a white man. And I remember one day she came in the classroom and wanted to, you know, talk to the students about something. And she was also like, oh, I'm, ha- I'm having a bad day. She was having a bad day. And I laughed at her. I was like, I was like, ha, huh? when she said that. And then so she she got me written up and moved from the because I I was in the I was in the accelerated class and she got me moved to the ESL class. So I so I was I was accelerated and got moved to the ESL class. And I'm like, first of all, I'm a I'm a native speaker. I, I speak English perfectly well. So me being here makes no goddamn sense. Secondly, my grades reflect that I am not remedial in any way. So essentially, I got moved to like special ed essentially because I made fun of a teacher. She she got her, she got her, she got her feelings hurt. And the only reason why my parents at the time didn't do a shit was because at this time they were divorcing. So like at home was like you know just messy. And the second time was that I had this fat white teacher named Jane Malone. And just like Ashley DeGracia, she didn't like me either. So in Georgia, your teacher has to recommend you to the next level, like what, you know, what level of a teaching you'll have, right? So you could be like, you know, accelerate, like it'd be like college prep or AP, advanced placement. When it comes to science, I kill that shit. Like, like it, it, I would always rank high on my benchmark scores, like 99 out of like 100 and such and like that. So I expected to be asked, oh, do I want to go to college prep? Do I want, do I, do I want to go to AP? And she straight up told me, oh, I'm not putting you in AP, Conway. You're going to college prep. And I said, why? And he said, because and she, she didn't tell me why. Now, she put me in college prep in from high school into 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 from, from middle school from middle school into into high school. Now, this go now the thing about it that made it like really fucked up though was that you know outside outside of her purposely. Outside of her purposely doing that shit, right? Outside of her purposely doing that shit, when I got to high school and was in that college prep class, it was so fucking easy that the teacher of the class would ask me on multiple occasions if I wanted to get moved to advanced placement because the class was fucking easy. Like, it wasn't a challenge because I was put in the wrong class on purpose by my middle school teacher, Miss Miss Malone. Like when I tell you, I would be in that class and I would just sleep through the class, wake up to go to lunch, then come back to sleep, and then she, she give a pop quiz and I finish first to turn it in and get an A. It was ridiculous. Like th- th- there was one time it was it was like the benchmarks, and my and my fr- and my Asian friend Stephen Doan. He was freaking out because, you know, he wasn't doing so well in the science class. I didn't give a fuck. Like, like th- that's how that's how easy I was coasting that I didn't even care. I didn't even care that it was benchmarks. I was like, dude, just chill. You, 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 can, you can copy my papers if you want to, all right? So we, 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 take the, we take the benchmark and we're in the computer lab and I'm letting him copy my, copy, copy off my, my paper we finished the benchmark, it shows me that I got like a 95 out of 100. Mind you, in Georgia, the benchmarks are like a statewide, 
in Georgia, the benchmarks are a statewide standardized test to track the rates of the students. So me getting a 95 out of 100 on the benchmark is a big deal back then anyway. And I'm telling you, when I say I didn't try in that class, I'm telling you, I didn't try in that class. Like I would go in there, sleep, leave for lunch, come back, pass the test. It, it, it got so bad that the, the teacher for that science class would literally ask me repeatedly, hey, do you want to go to AP? And I was like, hell no, this is a free A. This is a free A. This is an easy, I got like a 98% in that class, free A. But see, it's that type of shit that's like, and this, is, and this goes back to, you know, when people say, oh, well, well, why do boys suffer? Or, well, no, well, well, why do boys do worse than women in school? It, that, those are examples of why it happens. You'll have these female teachers who are on some ego trip shit, who, like Mr. Gracia, will get their feelings hurt and put you in the in a lower leveled class just to spite you or who like